What's the best mouse for CAD? I purchased nine mice, as you can see here in my lineup, so that you don't have to. I'll answer this question truthfully because I did 20 hours of research and this video is sponsored by no one. If you watch till the very end, you'll find out what's in this box. Your time is very precious, so I'm gonna answer the question right away. This is the winner. The reason is because it's got three buttons. Having a third button is a requirement for me. I didn't wanna to have to click on this scrolly wheel to rotate my model on CAD. I think that's gonna wear out my fingers. So I had to have a third button. So automatically, these are the three mice that have three buttons. So these are the top three. <clears throat> this is number one in my top choice because of two reasons. It's got a hinge, as you can see down here, which allows you to modify the verticality and the angle of the mouse to accommodate your comfort zone. But in addition, it has a ball joint right here, which allows for the placement of the thumb. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, this company, Contour, it really seems like they know what they're doing. So heads up to them. Uh, also, the same company made this one. I'm ambidextrous, so one for my left. Uh, the thing I didn't like about this one so much is that the hand is not in such a comfortable placement as this one is, but it's the second most comfortable and I can really appreciate the scrolly wheel. I think, uh, I wish I could have had the scrolly wheel right here. That would have been cool. Now coming in on third place, <clears throat> 3D connection. This mouse, again, it's very cool because of the three buttons, but it places my hand and it almost causes a torque on it that I don't like, it feels uncomfortable. Um, then moving on, we have these vertical mice, but if you wanna try any of these vertical mice, the Logi, Logi, this one here, Deluxe, Clever, and this one, they're all vertical mice, but the winner replaces all of them because you can adjust the verticality of this mouse, which I really like. Now, one thing that I will mention is I wish that this mouse could have been smaller. Let me tell you why. <clears throat> I like to rest my hand on the table when I'm when I'm using CAD, my mouse, <clears throat> because I don't wanna strain my hand. I don't wanna be uh, lifting it in any way. I wanna relax it. But I like to use my fingers to actually move my mouse. I don't like to move my entire shoulder. As industrial designers may know, people that sketch, you wanna draw from your shoulder, keeping your hand, your arm immobile and only moving your shoulder joint but you don't wanna do the same for the mice. You wanna be able to use your fingers, in my opinion, to move them around. It feels more natural how our body was designed to move. So that's the only modification I would've made to this, made it a little bit smaller. My hand is seven and a half inches from the standard measurement, how they measure from the base to the top of my middle finger. And that's a medium sized hand. Why not use a space mouse, you may ask? I'm sure that many of you are big fans of this, but I think that Having a mouse, one mouse, should be able to do everything that the space mice can. Let me, let me show you what I mean. I wanna have one hand on my mouse and the other hand on my keyboard. I don't wanna have a hand on my mouse, a hand on the space mouse on the left, and then I gotta reach over, type, and then come back. I don't like that setup. So to avoid that, that's why it's so crucial to have this third button right here that allows me to rotate the model. So let me show you what I mean. When I hold on to this and I rotate, I can rotate my model and that's exactly what I wanted and it makes me so happy to have this button right here. If you stuck around till the end, you're a real fan. Let me show you what's in this box. You all know me and how much I like to tear stuff apart. So what was in this box is this mouse that tore apart. And for those of you who may not know, I'm actually a writer in the official SolidWorks blog and I tear apart things like a multicolor pen and I show you the mechanism of how things work internally. Now, I wanted to do the same, something similar, and I wanted to really find out how does that scrolly wheel, you know, when you click on the scrolly wheel, how does it work and what's causing that resistance? So I tore apart this mouse. I was willing to modify a mouse so that I could remove some of the resistance from clicking on the scrolly wheel. So I tore it apart and I find out, so this is the scrolly wheel that I click on. The force is transferred onto right there, but really what matters, if you don't understand that, <clears throat> it clicks on this button right there. But what protects that button that I was just clicking on right there <clears throat> is this little plate, this little disc that's almost like a, like a capacitor for those uh, the electrical people watching. Is this a capacitor? But really what determines the resistance 
of you clicking on the scroller wheel is the thickness of this little sheet metal plate. So I was willing to modify that in a mouse so I can make the middle scroller wheel click less taxing on my finger. That, those are the extents that I was willing to go to have a personalized mouse experience. This kind of reminds me of some of my background, which is in molecular biology and genetics, personalized medicine. Well, this is like personalized ergonomics. If you enjoy this video and you stuck around till the end, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you follow me, Rafael Testai.